Hi there. In a previous video, I installed the My Energy Eddy uh, temperature and relay sensor board and installed a uh, PT1000 uh, sensor cable onto my tank so I could read the temperature of the water in the tank. Uh, go and check out that video if you want to have a look how I installed that. In this video, I'm just going to have a look at the app itself. So it's been a few days now since I've installed it. Uh, so I just wanted to show you sort of what it looks like in the app and what sort of temperature readings I'm getting out of it as well. So in the My Energy app, this is uh, the eddy itself. So it's telling me max temperature reached on the top. So it's had a day of solar. Uh, basically, it's used 5.7 kilowatt hours today. That varies depending on uh, how much water has been used, obviously, and how cold the tank is. So on here on tank one, you can see at the bottom, we've got the average kind of temperature down the bottom and we've got how much power went into tank one as well. And then we've got the, the bulk of it is the actual power going in with a line going through is the temperature. So I'm just going to click on to tank one, which is the main tank. And it's showing current temperature of 54, 55. It says it's full max temp reach so I know now that sort of 54 55 is roughly what it's going to be at even if it's sort of the sensors kind of stuck on the side so and it's been as low as kind of 30 I don't know 36 35 something like that that's when I know it's uh, fairly empty so if we just kind of scroll down to the bottom we're getting the same information from today as we were on the other screen we started off fairly low uh, had a shower in the morning it dipped a little bit lower on the temperature and then during the day as the solar has gone in the uh, temperature has risen to what it is now so if we go back to yesterday and just have a look when i actually installed the sensor itself so we went straight up from when i kind of installed it at nine in the morning uh, from there it kind of lifted up during the day as the battery was full and then the eddy took over sort of heating the water and then again, you see it sort of up to its top level. And then there was a little shower happened last night, uh, that little drop down. And then right towards the end of the night, you see a massive dip down. That is my son having his late night shower. So that's what then took it down even lower for this morning. So it's pretty good. Um, yeah, I, it does what it says. Uh, it shows me the temperature. I sort of know what the highs and lows are. Uh, whether that will help me use it or not now, I don't really know. I suppose it will just tell me uh, whether I should have a shower or not, whether it's going to be too cold for me or not. Uh, and I'm wondering what's going to happen in the winter um, when the eddy is kind of stopped, but the boiler heats the water. Um, so hopefully the uh, temperature will still show up. Maybe the temperature might show a higher temperature uh, when the gas boiler is heating the water as opposed to when the immersion tank is actually on and being fed by solar power. So I mentioned this in my previous video uh, when I did the installation, but it is possible to have two temperature sensors on the same tank. And this is an image of someone else's, not mine, uh, where they've added two temperature sensors. I mean, it's quite easy to do. Obviously, I've put one in. It only cost me another sort of 10 to 15 pounds for the cable to put another one in um, if I really, really wanted to. So I think on this image here, someone's put one at the top of the tank and one at the bottom of the tank. I believe uh, the white one uh, at the top, uh, the white line on the graph, would really be the top of the tank, and the green one would be the uh, bottom of the tank, because the top one is where the heat, the hot water obviously rises, and it's at the top, so it's staying fairly constant, whereas you can see on the green line at the bottom, it's basically probably measuring cold, and then it heats up, uh, and and matches really the uh, the the temperature at the top. So when the uh, tank is fully kind of heated, so that is an option if you want to add more than one temperature sensor on as well. You could quite easily. Also, don't forget there is a really good uh, Eddy support page on the My Energy website uh, where it talks about firmware updates and technical support. But if you also go down here and scroll down, other than the frequently asked questions, right at the bottom, there's some downloads here and the installation manuals and user manuals and the bottom operation and installation manual in one um, is very, very good. Uh, obviously, it's been updated to 2.1 from one. Uh, 
all of these manuals are really good. So if you've got different configurations for your Eddy, uh, you may want to have it connected via like heat pumps or whatever towel rails or using the relay and temperature sensor board like I did, this, that and the other. There are so many different wiring configurations in here and some tips on sort of different settings that you might want to make uh, either on your um, Zappy or actually on your Eddy itself. So check that out. So that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll speak to you soon.